I've got a technique for you to help you reduce your stress by 50% in the next 90 days. Hi, I'm Dr. Peters with Peters Wellness Chiropractic and Massage, and in this week's quick video, I would like to discuss the topic of stress and how it's related to good health or bad health. Now, we all know that some stress is good, at least, you know, gets us up in the morning, gets us out the door, gets us moving. We know that if we don't take care of ourselves to some degree, we're going to be worse off. But at what point is too much stress unhealthy versus healthy amount of stress? So... I wanted to read this. This is out of this week's Auckland Health University. Research shows that emotional factors such as depression and anxiety are strongly tied to the likelihood of developing Alzheimer's disease. Now, I've had quite a few patients in my office who have had loved ones who are either suffering with or who were suffering with Alzheimer's disease and are no longer with us. This is not a pleasant thing for anybody to go through. And this isn't me saying it. The Journal of Neuroepidemiology in 2006 documented that subjects with a high level of distress were 2.7 times more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease than those not prone to distress. So over two and a half times more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease if you were more prone to being stressed out. So to me, that would be a good reason to learn to not be stressed out. Now, I think most people would agree that, you know, like I said, stress, too much of it is, is definitely not a good thing. And some people would say, yeah, but you got to have some. So you got to have that, that balance, that ebb and flow, that uh, counterbalance of how much stress is healthy. And so what I like to do, I talk about a technique for you to cut your stress in half in the next 90 days. And I said that because... I did that myself last year. I actually did a video on it because I thought the technique was so powerful. And I've talked to patients about it. I've talked to my friends about it. Some people have done it and it had good success. Other people, more than people than I thought would be, were very, um, they, they didn't want to do it. They thought, well, I don't want to focus on the negative. So before I get too much into it, let me tell you what the technique is. I was taking this class. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of the gentleman who was teaching it. Uh, it was an online class. He wrote a book and he talks about this technique. And I was like, this is awesome. I'm going to do it. And I've got some notes on it here. So forgive me for looking at it. Um, so right now, think of for the next 90 days, I want you to write down three things that are stressing you out each day. And whether you want, I don't know when you want to do it. I did mine. Uh, the night before, so I would write down three things that are stressing me out. So then subconsciously, I, I feel like I could resolve or come up with solutions to my problem during the night while I was sleeping. I wake up in the morning and go, boom, I have an idea. It was phenomenal. I loved it. So, or, or some days you might come up with something in the middle of the day and say, okay, I got another one. I got to add this to my list. So I just did it in my phone. I use the Notes app. I love the Notes app. I save it up, you know, to the Apple cloud there. So I always have it. And I would write down the date, and then I would put down three problems. Now, some of these problems might be huge. Like, um, I don't know, uh, I hate my job, I hate my career, I need to switch fields. That's not something you're probably going to do overnight. So that's like a big one, but it can go on the list. Another thing might be, man, you know what? I'm sick of these tennis shoes. I need to go buy new tennis shoes so that um, I'm taking better care of my feet, my knees, and my hips when I'm running. Um, it might be, you know what, I need to start eating breakfast in the morning. I'm, not, I'm getting out of the house in the morning. I'm not having anything good to eat. I need to fuel my body better. You know, whatever it might be, it might be, gosh, you know what, my wife and I's relationship needs to be stronger. I don't spend enough time with her. We haven't gone out to the movies. We're not going on dates. I haven't done anything with my kids. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't need to be shared with anybody. You don't need to tell anybody. I did this for, I think, the first 20, 30 days before I told anybody about what I was doing. And I loved it. So think of, now some people may have trouble, you know, trying to figure out what they're going to put down. Um, I didn't. I didn't have a problem. And what was neat for me, in the first, I think it was, yeah, 33 days. I'd have to look back. It was 30 or 33 days. I think it was 33 because at three problems a day, 33 days is 99 problems. And there's a little song that can go with that, but that might not be appropriate here. But 33 days, I wrote down three problems a day. 
That meant I had 99 problems that needed to be solved. Now, what was cool was I didn't even think about it until I hit day, I believe it was day 34, and I didn't come up with three problems for the day. Now, keep in mind, this had become a fairly good habit. It wasn't 66 days, but it was, you know, it was that 30-day mark. I'm like, yeah, this, you know, this is becoming a habit. And at the end of the day, I was like, I didn't have another problem. And I was writing big problems, small problems. Some problems are going to take me two, three months to figure out how to resolve it. I, I was going to have to put some systems in place. And it was phenomenal. And I would definitely say it reduced my stress by more than 50%. And I've created new lists since then to come up with new resolutions for problems. Because imagine if you resolved, well, if you did it for third, if you did it for 90 days, that'd be 270 problems. And if you don't think your life would be better, even if you resolved a hundred problems, whether they're big or small, because little things Little things build up, man. They build up and they frustrate us. They keep us from sleeping well, which again is another thing that can lead to a lot of diseases if you're not sleeping well and getting adequate rest. So my challenge to you, and you know, if, if you think this is silly or you think it's a great idea, put a comment in, man. I love it. I'd love to have a discussion. Try to reduce your stress by 50% over the next 90 days. Use this simple technique. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to go anywhere. And you know what? If you don't have a cell phone, which I doubt, but if you don't, write it on a piece of paper. Write it in a journal. Write it on a legal pad. Write it on a scratch paper. But keep track of it because I listed mine and I went back because, like I said, some of these problems you might be working on six months from now, nine months from now, 12 months from now, and they may not be solved, but there's a huge shift in mindset when you know that you're working on a resolution to the problems and make your life better. And so you know, look at the, you know, I, I love that book, The Seven Fs of Ula, I've talked about it, I've done different videos. Um, remember the seven areas that they talk about fitness, um, fitness or health, but they do the seven Fs, fitness, finance, family, field or your career, faith, fun, and friends. And imagine if you're working so hard that you're not spending any time with your family. Obviously, that's going to create some stress. You don't want to create success with a, and lose your family along the way, right? I mean, our kids grow up quickly. And, you know, maybe you're not spending enough time with friends, you know, reaching out to them. I love, I have this app on my phone called Marco Polo. I'm in touch with my friends around the country literally daily. And it's, it's phenomenal. It allows me to keep up even though I'm working a busy schedule. So stress and health. I think a certain amount of stress is very good for us. But if we have too much and too much of the wrong types of stressors, it could be very detrimental to our health. So please try this 90-day ritual. Just write down three problems a day. And in those 90 days, you cannot write the same problem twice. Okay, you have to write three different problems every day until you run out of problems. And the reality is if you're growing and growing and growing and trying to do more, you're gonna create new problems. What you don't wanna do, another mentor of mine says, you don't wanna be dealing with the same problems over and over again. You want new problems. You want newer, bigger problems. It's like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna deal with this? What about this? Dude, that problem isn't even worth it anymore. We got new problems to deal with. And those, some of those problems will just go away on their own. So please try this out, man. It's a, it's a new year. It's February, right? It's getting into the new year. And uh, make this year the best year of your life. And who cares when you're watching this? You can be watching this in November. Make this year the best year of your life. So have an amazing week and give this a try. I think you'll love it. If I can stop.